Next, you want to go onto the website of your targeted journal and obtain the author guidelines. It is so essential for you to read the directions. I have to say one of my greatest frustrations as an editor is that the majority of papers that are submitted, the author has never read the directions. The directions will tell you the referencing format. The directions will tell you what length of paper you can submit. The directions usually tell you that all tables and figures are to be placed at the end of the paper, not embedded in the paper. The directions will tell you what should be on the cover page, the title page, the contact information. The directions may tell you whether they need an abstract, copyright release forms. So I highly encourage you, before you get writing, read the directions to know all the guidelines that you're supposed to follow as you write your paper. It's very, very important. One time I got a paper that was so beautifully written. It followed every, every direction. And it's so rare that I get a paper like that. I actually called up the author and I said, Anne, hi, I'm Trish, I'm the editor. I'm thrilled to see that you followed the directions. I think Anne thought I was crazy. She was quite amused that I called her, and she said to me, well, I always follow directions. Well, I pointed out to Anne that she's a rare person, and that I really appreciated that she followed the directions, and I asked her for tips of how could I get other authors to follow directions. So we had a great chat. But I would again encourage you, read carefully. We try to make it as clear as we can as the editor. If you have any questions about the directions, contact the editor and get that cleared up before you write the paper.